Hi, welcome to Show Me the Love, the wedding show here on RVN TV every Tuesday at 1230. And today's guest is Alex Ruszewski, and he is the owner of Abacus Studios. Um, you're based out of Plainfield, right? South Plainfield. South Plainfield. Linda, thank you for having me. Excited well, to be here I was going to well. say, welcome to, your, welcome to the show. I'm so glad that you reached out to me. Uh, that means a lot to me when someone notices the show and they take it upon themselves to reach out to be a guest. So. Anyone watching, please, uh, I'm open to all guests. Thank you so much. So uh, tell me, how did you get into this, uh, the wedding industry? So it's, uh, it's actually a pretty uh, uh, great story. I think photography, graphic design, the whole artistic concept has been uh, deeply rooted um, in me for a long time. Um, fast forwarding a little bit, I went on to college, uh, started my career in primarily marketing and business development, sales. And uh, I had an opportunity to work for like some big companies such as Verizon, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson. And the reason Abacus Studios was started was actually to facilitate a need for some of the companies that I was working for. Um, the way those companies were delivering information to their client base internally, externally, was through different mediums, whether it be video or photography. And uh, I had wanted to be on the other end of that. Um, so in 2004, same year actually that Facebook uh, was started by Mark Zuckerberg, um, Abaca Studios was born and uh, our primary focus was on commercial work and uh, of course Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson were two of our uh, first big clients and in that first year we did a lot of things. We worked with Chelsea Pictures, McKinney and Silver, um, we went out to Coachella, we did some really great things. But as I was forming our team during that first year, most of the photographers, videographers, editors, graphic designers came from the wedding industry and they said, Alex, why are we not doing weddings? And I said, well, I don't really know a lot about weddings. You know, I want to make sure that I would put out the best thing that I could in terms of uh, product and service, but I don't really know about the wedding industry. So with some tutelage from uh, some of our staff that are still with us today, um, we entered into the wedding business um, really in 2005. And we did things very differently because I didn't come from the wedding industry. And we focused on providing uh, couples with, you know, a really high-end level of service, a really high-end product, a seamless uh, 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 a uh, product or a seamless um, uh, uh, flow from before their wedding to after their wedding. And we were able to do that at a really great value to couples. And so we fast forward to 2019 and uh, we'll be in our 15th year of business with an impeccable reputation and uh, the majority of our work probably going to weddings and events. Wow, you said about 70% weddings Correct. and 30% commercial work. So you employ five photographers, you said, and um, you have a whole graphic design team? Correct. Um, we actually have five primary photographers that do weddings. Um, three of them are actually leads and probably go out a little bit more just because they have more reviews. So couples tend to choose those photographers. Um, and uh, we have an extended staff of photographers, videographers, and editors as well in case we need them for a commercial job. So sometimes, for example, we might need a four, five, six camera type of setup. Um, now, most weddings aren't going to require six cameras, um, but a commercial project may. Um, what that allows us to do is also have that extended staff in the event a couple did ask for something like that. Um, in 15 years, we've seen just about everything. We've done weddings at uh, uh, Liberty Science Center. We've done weddings at some really incredible locations that are really grand, and sometimes they require a little bit more. So it's nice to have those resources. But primarily, we have um, our steady team of wedding photographers and videographers. And you can see their work right on our website. Every gallery that we have on our website is actually listed by the photographer and labeled that way. So couples can actually go on and see a certain photographer's work. And then even request that photographer um, and have them assigned to their wedding. But they're also chosen because you get a consistency from from all of them so pretty much uh, if they don't request a certain photographer uh, they'll always have a consistent quality. 
Absolutely. Uh, I always tell anybody that the awards that we've won, the recognition that we've gotten is not because of me, it's because of our staff. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have the same staff with me some over a decade. Most of them have 20 plus years of experience in the industry. And the reason I initially actually sought out wedding and event photographers is their ability to be able to think on their feet. A wedding is a documentary. It's not something that's scripted. Every time you go out to a wedding, it's a different group. It's a different uh, scenario. There's people before an open bar, people after an open bar. Um, uh -huh. And a photographer needs to be able to, you know, uh, accommodate and adjust to those different things. And a wedding photographer is great to, at doing that. That's why I wanted them for the commercial business. And I think that one of the things that differentiate us is our nuances and the fine things that we can do in terms of ensuring a couple's gonna have a great day. And those little things of managing um, their day that ensures that they're gonna have a good time and we're gonna get great photos. And then you also do other events as well, like Sweet Sixteens. Oh, absolutely, and we do Sweet Sixteens, we do quinceañeras, bar and bar mitzvahs, uh, reunions, birthday parties, we've done proms, uh, we do sports photos. We actually did uh, uh, the NFL draft for Malcolm Jenkins when he got uh, uh, drafted into the NFL. Uh, you know, we did a, uh, a production where we got to see Lionel Messi, you know, so we've done some really neat things. Um, but like I said, a lot of that experience also translates into, you know, professionals going out and capturing uh, a couple's wedding, both photography and video. Uh, that's really neat. So now you have a couple that comes to you. Take us through the process of how you guide them and what kind of package things that you offer and things like that. Okay, well, you know, we try to keep things very simple. Um, couples in the Northeast are overwhelmed because we're one of we're one of the few states that do weddings in the grand way that we do them. We have, you know, country clubs and golf courses and these great big venues, um, whereas a lot of other places in the U.S. do backyard weddings. So couples are very overwhelmed. So we try to really make the process easy from the first time they meet us to. Um, after their wedding. So and initially, sorry to interrupt you, so didn't much. you say that New Jersey is one of the most expensive states to get married in? It is. Um, if you look up the statistics, they're available on, you know, online. Um, you can see that New Jersey, I, I would say, is in the top five the most expensive wow. places to uh, get married in, um, next to California, Florida, um, New York, Connecticut, you know, the, the other states that are actually in the Northeast. Um, so it, it is, you know, quite an expensive uh, thing, but I always try to remind couples that when you're getting photography or video, you're investing in a memory of something that you just spent all that money on. Uh, right. So you do want something that, you know, that, that's within your budget, but at the same time, this is how you're going to remember your wedding with your family, with your children, with your grandchildren. Um, I can also tell you, I take out my video now and I show it to my kids and they think it's the funniest thing on the planet because <laughs> they think I was born bald. But I had hair at one point and uh, my wife grew up uh, in the, you know, we were a product of the 80s, so she had big hair. So it's really funny for the kids to, uh, to, to see that. And it's a memory that lives on for couples, whether it be through our album or through the video. Um, but like I said, going through the process, we try to make it simple. Couples now are very, very educated. There's a lot of resources online um, that, that are available to them. So a lot of times when they come to our studio, they've already seen our work. So they've pre-qualified us a little bit in that regard. Um, usually they'll ask us for uh, pricing and our packages start um, actually at $15.95 for a photography package. And that includes your high resolution images and um, a password protected gallery, which is the main thing that you need. Um, and then, like I said, um, once they've qualified us, they'll usually set up an appointment. Sometimes they don't. Some couples um, don't need to come in. They've seen our work uh, as compared to other studios. And maybe they had a conversation with me via email or on the phone, and they want to move forward. They're good. Couples that do come in get a chance to take a look at some of the albums, um, you know, the difference between some of the, you know, uh, packages, uh, go more into depth about pricing and things like that. And sometimes we'll have to customize a package. After that, um, you know, they can book the studio, they can simply send us an email. Everything, again, is done uh, online, so it's a pretty seamless process. And they're all set up. Um, we send out about uh, three months beforehand a photo worksheet, video worksheet that lets us know everything that's happening on the wedding day. The photographer then gets in touch with the couple and goes over the timeline to ensure that everything happens well before the wedding date. And then it's up to the couples to just go and enjoy their day while we manage it. Afterwards, if they're getting an album, everything is done right through their online gallery and uh, they can make unlimited changes to their album and uh, view their images and uh, have that instant gratification that I think everybody wants when they're getting married. And you said you lock them in and you give them like a full 12 months to 
to pick their pictures and uh, their video and things like that. Correct. It's almost like uh, couples will always ask me, what is the timeline for thank you cards? And believe it or not, it's actually 12 months. Okay? Wow. Um, uh, you would think that it goes out right away, but uh, you know, you're overwhelmed with a wedding and it takes a year, two years sometimes to plan that. So you know, couples need that time afterwards to decompress. And uh, you know, sometimes they need to take a month or two away. Um, with our studio, we do one of two things, and this is also how we differ from a lot of companies, is that we actually don't put the cart before the horse. We'll allow our couples to take advantage of, for example, a promotion and purchase the album or their video edit up to six to 12 months after their wedding. We'll put it in their contract as a price guarantee at whatever the time or whatever the promotion was at the time of their booking. And this way, they have a locked in price, they have 12 months to select their album, and they know that they're not going to have something inflated or anything like that. They can take advantage of the uh, promotion and, uh, and they can make a more educated decision. Yes, and do it at a time they're much more relaxed after the hype and everything has calmed down and they can get their brains back and, and then look at their pictures. And, and their budget also allows them to do more. Um, it always kills me when I hear couples say, well, you know what, I want this album, but my budget says I can have this album. And I, you know, having been married almost 19 years, my wife says, what do you think? My response is, what do you think? You have to love it. So I always tell couples, if you don't love it now, you're not going to love it later. So you know what? Don't get it now. Wait till you can get the album that you want. And you know what? A lot of times couples really appreciate having the ability to be able to do that. And you know, again, at the end of the day, we're here to service uh, couples. If we give them exactly what they want, people tend to be pretty happy. Yes, well, on that note, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with some photos and we're going to take a look at these beautiful albums with Alex Rucheski of Advocacy. Shelter dogs aren't broken. They've simply experienced more life. If they were human, we would call them wise. They would be the ones with tales to tell and stories to write. The ones dealt a bad hand who responded with courage. Do not pity a shelter dog. Adopt one. Say we've got grit, and we'll take it as a compliment. Because it's our uncommon drive, our spark within, that brings us together and sets us apart. We are temple made. And when others take shortcuts, when others take breaks, when others take the easy way, we take charge. Add us on social media to watch bloopers, behind the scenes footage, previews, and more. I work 13 hours a day, six days a week. So when I'm off the clock, I gotta get stuff done. So when I need a snack, I need something healthy, tasty, and easy to eat. Like wonderful pistachios without the shells. They're protein powered, delicious, and great on the go. And that's perfect for me. Thanks, Liz. A woman without a lot of time. plans with 
Hi, welcome back to Show Me the Love here with Alex Wachewski of the Abacus Studios. And we are going to take a look at some of his breathtaking photos, or you know, his staff's breathtaking photos. Let's go right into them. Wow, that is beautiful. Where is that? So that's at Trump International Country Club in Benminster, New Jersey. <clears throat> and like many uh, grand locations that we have, uh, in New Jersey, uh, they have a beautiful staircase and a lot of great backdrops that lend themselves to magnificent photos. Absolutely. Let's see the next one. Wow, what a beautiful layering of white that is. That is gorgeous. And again, that has to do with some more control of the photographer. Everybody wants those candid shots, but here we have a, a shot that's actually candid, but done with some direction from the photographer to be able to capture this kind of uh, bridal preparation. Beautiful. All right, next. So one of the things that Abacus Studios is really proud of is ser serving the LGBT community for uh, literally over 15 years. And uh, you know we've been doing it since it was called the Commitment Ceremony, and we're super happy to hear uh, that they're weddings now. And this couple got married last year and took some beautiful photos in Asbury Park on uh, one of the most natural, beautiful boardwalks in New Jersey. Beautiful. This also is a uh, photo is in Asbury Park, again, a very popular location because of the well-preserved boardwalk and the new revitalization the area has. Um, but the wedding was um, at the Avenue in Pira Village, which is also a, a great uh, Jersey Shore location now for weddings. Beautiful colors. This is actually a uh, stunning image in Weehawken, New Jersey. It's the uh, Infinity Towers. and. Uh, We've taken many photos there and they all come out different depending on the lighting. But what's great is you have the mirrors on the sides and then you have um, Manhattan in the backdrop. So again, every time we take a photo there, it looks different because of the lighting, but it's always stunning. Now this image is a, a great image. We had a, uh, a mom actually that came to us and uh, they didn't use us for their wedding, but she said she had an image of the bride and groom uh, during their ceremony that had a huge shadow on it. And she asked if there's anything we could do. Now, because we do have graphic designers that do commercial work, we have some really, really talented people. And uh, one of our graphic designers, Jan, actually took this image and uh, you know spent uh, quite some time um, in Photoshop. And uh, what she created, I think, was magical in uh, the, after, uh, the before and after uh, results. Um, it really and, is. It's unbelievable how you know the before and the after is. Wow, that is, they're just beautiful photos. Thank you. You must be very proud of your production and your staff. They are, they're the, they're the reason why we have the reputation we have. Um, I've been fortunate, like I said, enough to, to have the same staff for quite some time, and uh, they really make the difference. Like I said, they really understand the fine nuances of you know, working with children or working with uh, you know, maybe a bride and groom whose parents don't get along. You know? right. So th there's a lot of things that go into uh, wedding photography other than just taking the photos. So you offer some different things with your albums. You were telling me, um, you know, just a better paper, a better layout. So one of the nice things about working with the studio is that we do have uh, the complete process in terms of also offering couples albums, um, prints, canvases, enlargements, metallics, things of that nature. And one of the biggest differences uh, between albums of old and, uh, and albums of new is how they're created. So you used to have a, a large 14 by 20 album that uh, was matted into an 8 by 10 frame and you had 30 images. Now the albums are created in Photoshop. They tell a story. You have multiple images on a page. They're uh, put on a hard, thicker board. They're leather bound and uh, they're, they literally withstand the test of time incredibly well. Even parent albums. Um, I show parent albums that are smaller versions of um, their kids' albums, and you could see that the pages, you know, again, are uh, telling a story of the wedding. Um, and the albums now come in different sizes, but again, they're seamless flush mount albums that are designed uh, by the couple with the graphic designer, and it allows the couples um, actually be. Uh, part of the process in post-production. And uh, as far as I know, we're actually one of the few studios that give couples unlimited album design changes, which ensures they're gonna get the design that they want. Um, but this is an album from 2009 versus an album from 2017. And you can see that they both withstand the test of time incredibly well. And uh, they're beautifully designed by, uh, again, some of the top designers in the state. 
Absolutely. I love how it's actually printed instead of a photo in the in an album. It's you amazing. Know, it's, it's printed on board. It, it really is. Actually, it's heat mounted uh, so we don't have any fraying or discoloration. And that's some of the advantages that couples get when they come into the studio. They can see and touch and feel the albums and compare that with another studio. Not all albums are created equal. And uh, one of the things that we're very proud of is that our albums are beautiful. They withstand the test of time. They're actually chemically treated with some kind of an oil-based uh, uh, substance that allows you to wipe the albums down regularly and uh, they, they, they really do keep their luster and their, uh, um, their, their longevity for, for a lifetime. Well, it doesn't surprise me. I was on your website and I saw the amazing awards that you have won. I mean, there was a lot. So uh, tell us about that, your uh, wedding wire, the knot. Well, one of the great things uh, today is that couples are very educated in studios. So they can go on Wedding Wire, The Knot, they can go on NJ Wedding, they can go on Google, they can go on a, 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 really a plethora of websites and find out um, about any studio. We live in a time where the good, the bad, and the ugly is out there. So reviews are written, and I am partial to reviews. We just traveled somewhere, and I actually chose one hotel over another based on reviews. So it's very important for us to, uh, to get feedback. In addition to that, it also actually provides us feedback on what we can improve. So through the review process and uh, through clients having really great experiences, they'll put that up there. And that's how we've been recognized, uh, whether it be through The Knot or Wedding Wire um, or you know, other uh, 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 industry recognition. Um, it's really, like I said, done through the feedback that couples provide. And then it also allows us to know that we're on the right track in terms of what we're doing. Um, and it gives a nice pat on the back to our staff. Definitely, and I think one of the other amazing things is that you find time to give back and you were telling me some of the things that you get involved in, uh, so go ahead and tell everyone. Absolutely. Um, I am one of the crazy people that, uh, you know, dons their clothes in February to jump into the <laughs> uh, uh, frigid ocean for uh, Special Olympics. Um, it's something that we've been a part of uh, for several years. My uh, son competes in the Special Olympics, um, so it's something that's near and dear to us. Um, we also try to give back uh, by offering discounts in addition to promotions to firefighters, first responders, um, educators, um, police officers. Um, so this way, whenever we have a chance to give back, we certainly will. Um, and uh, like I said, my favorite though is the, is the Special Olympics because again, it's near and dear to my heart. Yes, um, so you know that's just so important in business. I, I just think it's always good karma and in, in ensures your success. And what goes around sure. comes around. So. so I also really wanted to bring out the funny story that you had. Uh, we were talking <laughs> about like in 15 years of business, pretty much anything that has happened has happened. But what is the craziest thing that has happened? Well, we've got, we've got some really interesting stories. Uh, if you talk to any photographer or videographer, I guarantee you um, if they've been around long enough, they've, they've, they've seen it all. And uh, one story comes to mind because couples always ask us and uh, you know, friends always ask us. So a couple of years ago, we had a, uh, um, a wedding. It was in October, a busy time of the year. And uh, I always have my phone on on the weekends just to make sure that I'm in constant contact with both the shooters as well as couples. And one of my photographers who's been with me for a long time, Doug, gives me a call and he says, Alex, uh, we have a problem. And those are words you never want to hear um, <laughs> in any situation. No. I said, okay, so what's the problem? Thinking already ahead of what it could possibly be. And he said, I think the groom is going to be arrested at his wedding. Now, it does have a happy ending, um, but uh, uh, I went on later on to find out what had happened was the groom actually had a bench warrant out for his arrest for a parking violation. He's a third generation family that's in town. He actually was away on business. So I guess the police officers thought it would be funny after they read his announcement in the local paper to come and see him at his ceremony, um, which is exactly what they did. We didn't know any of this was happening. So to us, I, I'm thinking, oh my God, we're gonna be on the five o'clock news with this, this is gonna be, you know. Um, that being said, at the end of the day, he paid his fine, and we got some really incredible pictures of the groom arrested doing, a, or with handcuffs doing, a, you know, a first look and a first kiss. Um, in the end, uh, the police officers were great sports, and they took a lot of great pictures. But this bride and groom is going to have a story that they're going to be able to tell their kids forever, and it's certainly something that stands out, uh, you know, for me as well. <laughs> um, but it's just one of many stories that uh, that, that that happens uh, in the wedding industry. So now, what are you seeing as trends in the industry uh, you know, as far as your requests or things that are going on? So there are some trends that come and go. Some of them, I would say, are fads. Um, you know, in the 
recent years we've seen things like drones, you know, but then when couples have a drone, they'll realize, well, it makes too much noise or maybe there's, you know, FAA rules that we have to uh, comply with. Um, so we've seen a lot of things over, you know, like I said, a decade and a half of experience come and go. The biggest things that I've seen in terms of changes for photography and for video is really in post-production. Okay, so the albums of old are no longer the norm, whereas the digital style coffee table books are the norm. Um, one of the other biggest changes is couples wanting the copyrights to their photos. Um, one of the ways that studios used to make money was on reprints. And uh, now everybody either has a photo printer, lives next to a Target or you know a Walmart, and can get their photos printed anywhere. So couples really want the copyrights to their photos. And I'm happy to say we were one of the few studios that made that change early on, giving copyrights to all the high resolution images with any package our clients get. Um, and this way that allows them to do albums on their own through different websites, um, print images on their own, and uh, really have the autonomy to do whatever they want with their images. Right, um, and you don't have to store them. Correct, we don't have to store them, <laughs> although we do actually archive everything forever. Oh. Um, during Hurricane Sandy, a lot of couples actually lost their vi uh, photos and videos. And wow, Because we archive amazing. everything forever, we're able to give them copies of that. So we do archive everything forever, um, and we do guarantee it for life. Wow. Well, on that, we're going to have to wrap up. Tell uh, the audience how people can find you. So if you'd like to uh, schedule an appointment or just see some information, you can visit abacusstudios.net. It's A-B-A-C-U-S-S-T-U-D-I-O-S.net. You can also uh, reach us through the info box at info at abacusstudios.net, which is also available on our website. Or you can call us at 908 822-1220 and we've been more than happy to uh, provide you some information and show you some direction in regards to your wedding or event. I recommend that uh, anyone go to his website and check out his beautiful galleries and definitely if you're getting married take a look at this company they're going to do a fabulous job for you. So that wraps up another week of Show Me the Love here on RVN TV and we will see you again next week. Bye-bye.